Hi, I'm Doug, and on behalf of Brainworks, it's my pleasure to introduce the Friedman Amp Collection. These plugins give guitarists, engineers, and producers access to the iconic tones that have made Friedman Amplification one of the go to brands for a ton of the top players on the planet. The BE100 plugin faithfully captures the massive range of clean, classic rock, and hot rotted tones that have made the BE100 amplifier the flagship of the Friedman line. While the DS40 serves up vintage infused, clean, crunch, and lead tones. So now we're going to play our way through both plugins, starting off with the BE100. I'm going to provide a little bit of commentary here and there, talking about the key features that I used for the sounds you're about to hear. So let's get to it. For this first demo, we're going to start off with the clean channel of the BE100 in combination with a little bit of Realverb Pro Reverb. Still on the clean channel, I'm using the input gain control in the effects rack section to goose the input in order to add a little bit of hair. dirty channel, you really get a chance to hear how incredibly well the component level modeling responds to the touch. And I've also added the vintage delay in the effects rack, as well as some Realverb Pro. And for this one, I'm using pretty much the same settings to dial in some classic Les Paul tones. And this one really demonstrates the massive range of control this plugin delivers in terms of being able to dial in signature tones. And I'm using the FAT, C45, and SAT switches on the face of the plugin to really bump up the amount of distortion. And I'm also using the Roland CE1 Stereo Chorus, Cooper Time Cube, and Realverb Pro plugins. <laughs> For this demo, I've hard panned two instances of the plugin, and in the effects rack, I'm using two different signal chains so I can bring up the Friedman cabinet on one side and a German cabinet on the other. I'm also utilizing the tight function to roll everything below 100 Hz out, which is great for constructing a mix. <laughs> For this demo, I use two of the stock presets that come bundled with the plugin, 7 string A and B, for instant tone on tap. Compared to the quad of EL34s that power the BE100, the pair of 5881s that power the DS40 make for a more open low end, which is great for hollow bodies. Although the Melody Guitar, which is panned dead center on this one, has a little bit of the vintage delay from the effects rack, 
the two guitars that are panned left and right are completely dry and really give you a sense of the tactile nature of this amp and plug-in. The only effect on this one is the vintage delay. And what I really love about this plugin is the way it responds to the touch as well as different instruments. And this one really demonstrates how well the plugin transitions between sweet leads and riff driven rock. I'm also using the Cooper Time Cube and AMS RMX16 Reverb plugins. On behalf of Brainworks, thanks so much for checking out this video. And for more information, please visit uaudio.com. Cheers.